The last blur in the blur gallery is the spin blur. This blur is used to rotate and blur the image around one or more points. This is a good blur to use to make car tires or airplane rotors look like they are spinning. And so I went on a trip a few years ago, and it was one of the first trips that I took once I moved to Utah. And when I got to the airport, I went outside and I saw this plane, and I just couldn't believe that this was an actual plane that people took. And so I have this picture, but I took a picture of the rotor stationary, and so it wasn't spinning. And I would like to make it look like maybe the rotors were spinning as I was taking the picture. And I guess it's more safe or safer that I didn't take it when it was spinning, but we could pretend like I did by using the spin blur. If we jump over to Photoshop, I have this image and it's not posted on, oops, let me jump to Photoshop. It's not posted on the Open Graphic Arts just yet, but I will post it um, in the next couple days. Um, and if you are watching my video in a future semester, you won't have to worry about it not being available. To apply a spin blur, you can go to the filter menu and the blur gallery where we found the other uh, blurs that we've been doing for this lecture. When you choose a spin blur, you, when, you will see that a spin blur is automatically applied on the screen. And so you can move the pin like we've been using for the other activities. You can click and you can drag it over the area that you want the blur to occur. Now when I do this, the default spin is not big enough for the rotor in the picture. And so I'm going to center the the spin around the middle of the rotor and then you can pull out the sides and so I'm gonna pull and it's going to make an oval um, but I don't want to keep it as an oval and so I'll pull it all the way out to the bottom of the rotor top and bottom and then I can grab the sides and I can pull the sides out and do the same oh, make sure you grab the right the right area of the the selection now, when I pull it out and I make a perfect circle, it looks like the rotor is spinning, but you do always have options on the Blur Tools panel to make adjustments about your blur. And so maybe it's going too fast. And so you can slide the blur angle to the right or to the left to increase or decrease the amount of blur. And so if I spin it to the left or I slide it to the left, um, you'll see that it almost looks like the propellers are not spinning or not spinning very fast. And the more I push it to the right, the more and more blurred it becomes. And so it almost looks like if I keep sliding it, it looks like it's moving in real time. So you want to find a medium between having too much blur that you can't see what it, ha what it used to be and not enough blur that it actually looks like it's spinning. And so find what works for you. And then you, when you're done, you can select OK and accept the changes and it will appear like the propeller is spinning in the image.